What's up guys? Are you there? I hope so because this is the start of my first squirrel hunting video and I mean the start because it might take a while to even make this video. Have you ever tried getting a little squirrel in your you know frame and actually keep them there enough time to shoot it? Yeah I tried to practice and it's a little bit of a task so bear with me guys. Well anyway I'm gonna show you the weapon of choice. I just picked it up private sale I spent $150 on it like that and it's a it's a Stevens 301 410 with a red dot on it I'm not used to red dots but that's why I'm here today and we got the targets have some pieces of cashews not sponsored by the way at least not yet and a full bottle of water I found floating around in the car let's see how we could do shooting this bad boy all right everyone i'm feeling salty i left my tripod at home so this is as good as it's getting i'm going to aim right in the middle of the can on the ground so that's what i'm doing i slapped that thing dude this thing Woo! let's go see the damage dang i was a good 25 30 yards away with old 410 I'm going to shoot it again. We got some action shot now, guys. I'm using Federal 410 3-inch 6 shot. Not sponsored. Not yet. I'm going to try to quick scope this bad boy because that's just how I am. Ooh. Dunsky, son. Clap them cheeks. Let's go see the damage. Safe to say, any squirrel gets in this red dot. Let's see if, yeah, any squirrel gets in that little bad boy. It's, it's frying in the pan. So next time you'll see me, hopefully I'm out in the woods pursuing the tree rats. Welcome back everyone. You know what day it is. It's time to go to the grocery store and chicken of the tree is on the list. Hopefully we can get something down for you on camera today. I'm surely gonna try. Stay tuned, everyone. I'm seeing all kinds of squirrels, but I can't get them in my frame quick enough. Sorry, guys, but I am trying. Challenge accepted. Well, if you take a gander behind me, that's a morgue. Dead people were put in there before they were buried. And this is a cemetery, believe it or not. So, yeah. I think there's writing on the top. It says, Constant Cemetery, September 1st, 1887. Oh yeah. Let's hope I have some luck. Got him. That was insane, dude. I was just standing right here and no crap. Two of them took off down that log and up in that tree one of them went. I was shuffling to get the camera on them because I am on a hill and my tripod don't want to be a tripod on a hill. So yeah, let's go see him. And there he is, everyone. It's a little male. Pretty cool, we got him. It's gonna be good eating. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh my gosh, everybody. Do you know who that is? If you've been watching my last arrowhead hunting videos, you'd see I released a little box turtle named Tiny Tim over here on the pipeline. Well, look at who we have here. Looks like Tiny. MF and Tim. So we're gonna put you over here in the rose bushes or in the sticker bushes so nobody gets you. Glad to see you're doing well, little Tim. It's my buddy. So folks, I made it back to hunting camp. I only managed to harvest one squirrel, but I seen pretty many. So that gives me high hopes for the next hunt, which will be in the next clip. I'm gonna clean up this squirrel and see you out in the woods.
We got him. Another squirrel for the skillet. Um, he's in here somewhere. I thought about bringing my hound with me today, but it's hard enough doing it by myself. But he would retrieve them for me. There he is. There he is. I see a tail. There he is. Oh my goodness, he's a big one. Woo wee! Nice. Very nice. It's a, it's a female. I'll show you what to do if you get a female squirrel. What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with my squirrel. It's a female, so before you want to put them in your pocket, you gotta, you wanna squeeze down on their belly and make them pee. So they don't pee in your pocket. It looks like this one already did its business. So in the pocket it goes, I'm gonna try to get another one. He's way up there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I tried to get another squirrel. Didn't happen. So I'm not about to let these other ones go to waste. I got the fire ripping. I'm gonna get some nice coals. I'm gonna cook the squirrel over the fire. So stay tuned if you wanna watch me cook and eat. Watch the end result. It, it, it's going to be amazing. Burnt that skillet though. Just got done frying up the squirrel. Made me some green beans. Put some shredded cheese on it because it is just so darn delicious. Got my barbecue sauce ready. So, yeah, it's going to be like wings. Wings from the woods. From field to fork. See you guys on the next one.